Peggy 18. Doritos, lemon, slap. Slap your whole family tonight. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. So, on the previous episode, we finally landed on the spaceship, which is like the highway point from other system into this system. Now, because some time has passed in between the episode 3 and this one, I, of course, have totally forgot the name of this damn vessel, so... Yeah, even though it's, like, right over there, Groundbreaker. Okay, never mind, Let, let's pretend that just did not happen. So, on this episode, we are gonna continue throughout the ship and see what can be done. Now, obviously, I'm still new at this, so I have been able to look up a few things, but no promises that I'm gonna be able to pull off some miracle, okay? Uh, also, please, no spoilers in the comment section. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So, currently we have Parvati with us. We are at level 7, which is probably not that much. When it comes to my character and the skills and perks which I will be picking up, I'm still not sure which way to go. Obviously, Lone Wolf would be awesome, but based on some of the content which I was able to see, I was able to assume that maybe taking the companions might be beneficial despite the fact that i have terrible charisma here so maybe i will be picking up the pack mule as the next perk just so that i have more carry capacity and then i might go with the toughness eventually and maybe cheetah but we will require two additional perks if i understand it correctly in order for us to gain access to the second tier and there might be even better perks so so we will basically see how this works out now there are multiple quests which we can do so let, let's go see this one seems to be a bit closer we interrupt your regularly scheduled advertising. Yeah, I unfortunately cannot steal these bits, and I do wonder what's in these vending machines. Um, so it'd be awesome if I have some form of a comparison to know what do I have versus what do they have. Yeah, the only armor which I do possess should be the one which currently in my inventory so you, you know what L let's sell the junk if we can okay we have 2400 bits that one seems to be busted it'd be fun if we can crack it open for the bits okay this one has a little purple pinkish bluish look to it so maybe it's because of the company which provides this Okay, the last thing seems to be specifically for weapons, but we, we will see how we handle this. So there is Gladys, there is a massive safe which seems super tempting, but I'm quite sure that if I would try to, like, I don't know, crouch and crack this thing open. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> yeah, bribe, I'll pay you 700 bits to look the other way. Um... Persuade 25. I I was just leaving. Leave conversation. Go wide before I change my mind. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Okay, let's go talk Bless to this lady. Heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. Uh, Phineas sent me, he said you can sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay. Let me see what you've got for sale. Uh, thank you for your time. L let's go and I've see what she has. Pro pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Okay, so, uh, damn. Security blade, restricted stock, 
I'm really sure why she cannot tell me that. This seems to be the asset type of weapon. Interesting. Uh, the the price for the weapon, however, god damn it, like god damn it, 4,883 bits. Not a chance, lady. Not a chance. Great law, is it hot in here? Or is it just my glands acting up again? Okay, uh, Phineas sent me. He said you can sell me Navki to Stellar Those Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Oh, uh, tell me about this. Pay 10,000 bits! God damn, I'll take the nav key to Stellar Bay. Any chance for a discount since Phineas sent me? <laughs> no one's ever found my bits lacking. Uh, thanks for your time. Uh, let's ask about the discount. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Okay, okay, let's tell me about this well, opportunity. I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms here. Let's hear the details. What other jobs do you know about? Uh, what? Well, no qualms here. Let's hear the details. You know Edna over in engineering. Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Say no more, I'm in. Why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corpses are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Um. Okay, see no more. I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Abandoned outpost, corporate secret, got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. What other jobs do you know about? You might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Uh... Okay. Thank you for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. No, oh, thank you. Now, if I can only crack this sucker open, that that would be a game changer. Unfortunately, I cannot steal anything because the room is full and you have been able to see what happens if I try to do something so dumb. Is there a possibility for me to sneak around possibly? Okay, there is some weird room here. Examine. Squatter's Journal. I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story, but no one's listening to them. I'm just a background radiation. Wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. Wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full timer. Now I'm filthy... Bitless and bedless. Far as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreaker's trash. That's how I live. And if no one agrees to take me on as a crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. Okay, that's kind of sad. This is unfortunately empty. This has some energy cells. And this has the brew. 
Okay, lager, or lager, lager, right? Okay, let's see where can we theoretically sneak up. Yeah, this sounds uh, like the water is under the current, so I'm not sure if this is not gonna kill me. So let's save up before I step into... Okay, Adreno and some energy cells. So far so good, but someone should definitely do something about the leak. A restricted area. Unauthorized personnel in restricted areas will be shot on site without question. You can either fight, sneak, or use holographic shroud to get through restricted areas. Post-mortem fines will be paid by the closer living relatives. Okay, awesome. So let's try to uh, borrow whatever it is that I can find here, including a bunch of mods. I'm not really sure if we can see through the window. Damn, this looks like some operation room or something. Some surgical suite. So the whole bin has been taken apart. Uh, I don't see anything more here. Uh, we would require a medical bay key card but we can break in so that's 350 experience just from that alone we cannot move any of this uh we're still in the restricted area so i'm kind of afraid to know if okay quarantine oh damn Oh, damn, there's a guard. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Where are you going? Come here. Don't you dare go there. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna try to see the lady in the engineering. Now, Parvati also wanted to talk to someone in the engineering. So maybe it's the same person and I just did hear... Oh my god, they have the white ver variety of that green little lizard thing. Oh, look at this little bugger. We can actually pick up these mag picks. There's plenty of them. We can take apart the robot armor parts so we can fix some stuff. Nice. Oh, you little bugger. These guys are so cute. I want to get one. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, let, let's let's move in, Parvati. Seriously, you're starting to make me hate having you around. Uh, requires rest and go key card to unlock. Heavy ammo. Okay, we can crack this sucker. Plasma cutter. Uh, okay, that is supposed to be like a good uh, the melee weapon. Auto mag pistol and a whole lot of cool stuff. We really need to get this rest and go key card. Hunting rifle, heavy ammo, energy cells. What? Well, don't judge me. It's not like in Skyrim where there's the fate of the universe on our shoulder. We we can just do whatever the hell we want because we were woken up on some ship. So, theoretically speaking, uh, we can go in here and I can go, like, sell a bunch of this stuff which I came across. Now, obviously, I do not know DPS 53. Uh, I don't have any of these uh, weapons, so I would like to keep that. I do have a hunting rifle. So, uh, let's sell that. And this is actually interesting. The plasma cutter. This should be a pretty decent blade, so I'm gonna hold on to that. And let's see if we can find... Who else do we need to find? The, la the lost hope. Okay. It seems to be a big bar. Hold on, where are the journals? Okay, so, passage to anywhere. 
Pass it to anywhere in order to revive your fellow colonists stranded. Yeah, so that's the main quest which we are trying to do. Talk to Udon Batford, purchase a nav key to Stellar Bay from Gladys for 10,000 bits. That ain't gonna happen. Side quest, the distress signal. Gladys has given you a copy of the distress signal from Terra 2. Someone in Roseway, a supposedly abandoned Auntie Cleo outpost, is requesting help. If there are corporate operations hiding there, it's likely you'll be able to find some valuable data to sell back to Gladys. Now the problem is that on the end of the last episode, uh, when we arrived to the Groundbreaker, basically our shift ha uh, or shift our ship has been impounded or uh, is being currently held up by the customs, so we're gonna have to deal with that too. So I don't think we can just deport from the Groundbreaker. Uh, solution vital. Dr. Vandador said one of the local doctors has been waiting on a shipment. Seems like a pretty decent uh, straight to go quest. So, you know what? L let's go and deal with that. M maybe that's gonna probably. Uh, wow. Okay. Love the head. Uh, there is a lot of stock here. Question is, can I take some of these things without anyone noticing? And let's try to break in. I'm not really sure if I want to steal defective moon man hat. Energy cell, some mod. I really need to start looking into these mods because they might be super useful. Uh, can we take whatever is on this shelf too? Really pushing the luck here. But no one seems to have noticed. And let's go talk to the doctor. There, you can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Okay. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Yeah, Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipments. Wheeler says your shipments won't be coming in soon. What's going on? Better myself. Isn't this the med bay? Yeah, Wheeler says your shipments won't be coming in soon. Or, uh, what's going on? I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Uh, I could try to find him. Uh, what do you need the mechanicals for? Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. Why is that? I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me... He was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Okay, so I'm not really sure if we can see the uh, world map. Okay, it looks like there are multiple floors of the Groundbreaker alone. Goddamn. Okay, that's pretty damn impressive. Uh, local, yeah, we unfortunately have only access to the local map, so we cannot go to the uh, space map. We can only access that from the ship. Ah, okay, so we were over there. Uh, she is in the quarantine, or she's protecting whoever is supposed to be in the quarantine, apparently. Um, uh, still, Lubrazine spray. Yeah, I'm not really sure if that's gonna work here, but okay. 
and pick up uh, the ID card. Uh, so sure, that might now let us get into some of those pesky pesky rooms. But I probably don't want to kill everyone in the med bay because that that would be just back practice. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See him, Furu? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Uh, what's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Maybe I can look in on Jesse why you don't even like her but why you're checking on her Jesse's situation sound normal to me okay uh, why are you checking on her you say that like it's weird uh it's not in my business I was just curious but why bother like I said Jesse did me a favor and now I owe her one I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid that's all Maybe I can look in on Jesse? Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. What seems to be the problem? Uh, I'd like to see Jesse Doyle. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount. So no, you may not see her. Uh, perception. The records say, have you actually spoken to her She's yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Can I buy supplies from you? You seem well stocked. Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. Okay. See Take you care. around. So, I'm really not sure if this is actually a guard, but just based on the gear alone and the fact that she's carrying some sort of weapon, I think it's a weapon. Uh, I'm not really sure if this is that person who we are looking for. Yeah, I mean, this is a belt with ammo, so I'm gonna assume... These are the guards, so let's just leave this place for now. Unfortunately, the supplies might have been uh, put away, so I will not be probably able to finish off uh, this quest that easily. Uh, I still cannot do this because I just don't have enough stuff. Now, okay, talk to Jesse. Ali hasn't been able to get through to Jesse, but you could try drinking sapphire wine. Introduce Parvati to Junli Tennyson. The cleaning machine. Find an acid steeper. You found an entries on Hawthorne's terminal in the captain's quarters regarding this his attempts to turn Sam into a combat capable unit. Hawthorne's plan to replace Sam's sod steeper with an acid steeper, but never picked up the part from roseway and i'm also not sure if i can actually like uh do that in here i'm not uh getting that feeling so yeah we're gonna probably go with another quest uh so let's try this talking with jesse or what what's it supposed to be Okay, so that's in the quarantine, so uh, since this is a ship, I don't think this works like a day-night cycle where we can just uh, try to sneak in at night. So let's try... Uh... So let's try this quest where we introduce Parvati and see if something will happen. Engineering. Damn, it looks hot in here. This is House XF411s? And it all get keyed at 37? You 
Okay, I cannot take the helmet, so let's try to talk to this lady. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Uh, Maxwell Nubius, nice place you've got here, chief. I'm captain of the unreliable, uh, though my ship's a bit grounded at the moment. Ah, uh, let's introduce ourselves. No, it it's a mess, but it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. I'll try not to start any fights, but I might have to end some. <laughs> Salute, copy that, chief. I'll do whatever I can to help keep Good. the peace. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Uh, once I get out of Impound, I'm bound for Monarch. None of your business just passing through. Sh should we really be spreading the information where we want to go? Uh, well, let's try that. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Parvati, you wanted to talk to Jun Lee. Go ahead. It seems kind of warm in here. What's going on? What's it like being in command around here? You don't have a lot of faith in the board. Uh, let's go with first introducing Parvati. That way we might be able to finish off one quest and maybe they're going to ask us to help with the heat issue. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. No need to be so formal, Parvati. Nudge Parvati to continue. Let's do that. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Parvati, don't be shy around requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. Silently encourage Parvati. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Uh, thanks, Juni. I had some other questions for you. Whisper, nice job, Parvati. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Yeah, well, let's ask about... It seems kind of warm in here. What's going on? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Why haven't you fixed them yet? I'm sure your capable staff can stay ahead of the problem. Let's go with why haven't you fixed them Only yet? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Is there no room for compromise? Surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. Uh, let's go with the compromise. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Intelligence, you need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Uh, got it. I'll take care of that right now. The back base? Am I supposed to know where that is? Sorry. I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. I'll get you those parts from the back base. You can't get these parts anywhere else. 
Could we try to talk this out with whoever is down there? Have you tried sending anyone else down there to get those parts? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. Okay. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Uh, non taken. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Okay, I'll get you those parts from the back base. Uh, can't you get those parts anywhere you must else? I've been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth, and the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. Okay, their negotiation sounds like bureaucratic coup. Aren't you just delaying the inevitable by cannibalizing groundbreaker system? Let's go with the negotiations Damn option. Right. And while I'm captain of the groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. Okay, I'll get you those Good. parts. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Okay, uh, so fun thing of uh, inventory. Let's see if we can... Equip some of this stuff. I'm gonna probably... Break down two of these weapons. This one has the diamond, which should mean that it should be more valuable. So I'm gonna keep that for now. Not really sure if the automatic pistol is any better. But let's see what these weapons will do. Um. Okay, journal. Do we have... Uh, drinking sapphire wine. Return to the unreliable and ask Parvati about Junni. Uh, thanks to your introduction, Parvati and Junni hit it off. Check in with Parvati back on the ship to see how things are progressing between them. Uh, so maybe I can ask her right now because she should be with me. Or do I really need to be physically on the okay? ship? Not that I want to. Just seems to happen around you. That's all. Uh, what was that about back at Junlee's? Uh, head back to the ship, Parvati. I'm going on without you. Let's ask, uh, what was that about back well, there? I didn't expect her to be so tall. And did you see the size of her arms? She seems very competent. Gosh, did she ever. Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to Junlei? She's just, here's how to fix it. And they trust her. It's just, she's calm and knows what to do. I wish I was half so confident. Okay, we'll talk later. So apparently I will not be able to do anything about this. Let's go. Happiness is a warm spaceship. Help Junlei Tennyson fix the radiator arrays in the maintenance shaft. Maybe there's going to be elevator music. And seriously, these loading screens are awesome. Got it. Head down. Okay, uh, medical drone. I'm not really sure if this is already an hey, enemy. Fred, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Okay, he has some weird weapon and there are some dead bodies. You know what, let's save up here. See what's gonna happen if we try to... Circle around. I can take these parts. So far, nobody sh step in that direction, friend. Why? Outlaw. God damn it. Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna shoot my way through this hallway and uh, screw this. So 
the plasma rifle is really nice. Let's try to recover some health here. The drone does not seem to like the plasma rifle. Damn, that eviscerated that outlaw. Awesome. Okay, well, uh, if I have to shoot my way through this damn place, I'm gonna shoot my way through this damn place. I have the ammo. Look at that, 40 out of 795. See if we can cripple or kill. Okay, I have 34 more Adrenos. Uh, Spacer's Choice uh, found a flaw in you. Flaw tutorial. During your adventures, things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Spacer's Choice found a flaw in you. Food addiction. You can't seem to stop yourself from eating. Even food that's bland or horribly flavored. Not eating often will cause withdrawals. Effects. Food addiction, withdrawal, dexterity, minus one, perception, minus one, temperament, minus one. Reward, one perk point. Uh, yeah, I don't want this. If I don't have to have it, and I'm already working with hard difficulty. Oh, damn it, that, there's some big mech. Okay, it seems like that energy cell at the leg is the weak point. The plasma seems to be doing wonders here. I'm really glad I managed to get this thing. Uh, steel axe, do, do we need that? Okay, so far, I'm able to defend myself. This is explosive, so I'm gonna stay the heck away from that thing. This can be cracked open, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Just hoping I will not become overcumbered in the first few seconds. Lots of stuff to collect here. Seems to be locked. Let's see if we can crack it open. Okay. There anything in here? If you like checking whatever nook and cranny is a good idea. Okay, what are you? The bypass? Okay, we need that for unlocking the doors. Let's take whatever I can. Uh, pick up radiator parts. It seems that we officially leveled up, so let's see if we can invest some points here. Uh, not really sure if we should go. You know what? Let's go with. Uh, few points in here let's go with some um, defense dialogue we have parvati so our chances are slightly increased stealth uh, thanks to the armor this is uh, basically affected so let's go stealth and attack um, let's go dialogue to and apply this so we have combat dialogue abilities and a perk so perk i was really thinking about the uh pack mule so let's go with the pack mule it's gonna help out with the carrying capacity and i think there are even pack of pack mules so 
you get carrying capacity bonus from companion and later on there's like super pack mule so fun stuff okay let's see if we can kill anything else in here or steal anything else in here there's a drop because i'm not sure if there will be any reason for me to return here let's see what can i get out of this place whatever i might not need i'm gonna probably sell off damn this looks exactly like the window where they keep the sleeping modules uh, like the cryogenic chamber in which we were found in the first episode fun stuff steel plasma rifle yes thank you okay anything else that i might like to uh borrow permanently uh energy cells anything down here Okay, they don't like these things. And there is Private Letty Dixon. I'm not really sure if she was not sent here. What do you think you're doing? Uh, Bribe, I'll pay you 121 bits to look the other way. For say 20, I was just leaving. Do what you want, I guess. Uh, steel? Yeah, let's take it. I'm gonna be able to sell these weapons and maybe I will be able to talk yeah, to her. I haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure how long ago that was. McRed tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. Uh, McRed's dead. Ah, that's too bad. I mean, he was a scary fucker, total pyromaniac, but you know how it is. You meet a guy, get used to his quirks, and then blam. Uh, I can, uh, I came to grab some radiator parts. Engineering could use your help installing them. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Okay, maybe we are gonna get some bonus from that too. And I'm also happy that she left, so... We can take a look around, see what is around here, get some more lockpicks or whatever you want to call it. There's a fridge full of goodies. So why not, since I have the pack mule perk now? You're fast. Damn, okay. Uh, so we have a stupid amount of weapons now. We have two light machine guns. Uh, let's break down the pistol. Let's break down this thing. Let's break down this thing. Uh, this thing probably requires some fixing, but at 96%, I really don't think that is that important. I'm gonna probably sell one of the duplicate light machine guns. After all, I did get one of them by accident. So we have that. Is there anything else? Just want to double check. If no, let's get the heck out of here. Finish off at least one quest. Might get more experience out of it. Some potential reward or something. Who knows? But man, do I love this weapon. I'm gonna see if I can install a mod on it. I'm not really sure if I can do that outside of uh, the workbench. So, ranged weapon mod side uh, increased weapon accuracy. 
Range weapon mod barrel reduces the noise of each shot. I'm not really sure how that will work with plasma. Extend O oh, sight range weapon mod sight a two times scope that adds extends the weapon's maximum range. I would probably put this onto a lovely sniper rifle and mag to power ranges well, weapon mod magazine uh, changes the weapon's damage type to plasma. Okay, we already have plasma rifle. Ranged weapon mod magazine changes the stats damage uh, weapon to shock. Okay, nice. Backpack armor more mod utility increases your carrying capacity. Damn it. Okay. Um, anodize armor mod armoring increased body armor and helmet armor ratings against corrosive damage. That's pretty damn impressive. Electro charge surface armor mod uh, gadget. This mod stuns and damages mainly attackers. Nice. And Night Gale Step Armor Mod Utility decreases the noise made while moving. Uh, modifications Night Gale Step Volume of Footsteps minus 25%. Radius of Footstep Sound minus 25%. Okay, for this clunky armor, uh, this super high end or super rare mod would be actually beneficial because our skills are actually uh reduced by five due to the elite trooper armor so let's go drop off the You've supplies and in one piece color me impressed i got the parts for the radiators what now what's it like being a command around here but then you don't have a lot of faith in the board uh i got the parts good work i'll take those I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. I'll take my way down there. Uh, define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators and here we are. Okay, I'll make my way. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Uh, I'm not really sure if the plasma rifle is effective against also the non-human combatants or worms or whatever the hell these things are. Um, so probably we need to go down there. I just want to make sure, uh, fix the radiators. Yeah, so we have the right perk selected. Aw, no music. Ah, there is music. Man, the blade looks awesome. Okay. Let's save up and see what... Okay, uh, weird looking bug, that's for sure. So I'm not really sure what weapon type would be the most beneficial. Okay, damn, its hat literally flew off. Okay, that was the weirdest thing ever, but sure. Wait, am I still being eaten by the swarm or something? No, probably no. Cannot use while in combat. I'm guessing there okay. are more. Nice work. Okay. Uh, Manta Pillar. Man, that's a big ass bug. Look at that! Freaking chunks flew all the way away uh, from it. Okay, I'm guessing these are the radiators. And Manti Plasma Gland. Uh, okay. I don't like the fact that there are so many explosive barrels. And I don't like the fact that I'm walking upstairs to high ground and I cannot look around before I get up here. Okay, can we grab the gland from this thing too? No. 
But there are some magna picks and bits, so I'll take those. Thank you. Okay, so we are switching back to plasma. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. Unexpected. Yeah, they don't like the plasma. There seems to be another robot behind those doors. So let's see what's behind doors number two. There's some bits I cannot get up there. there. There's probably not like option in like Doom where you jump up the ledge or something. Or climb up the ledge. Uh, 34 bullets in the magazine. So probably don't have to reload exactly right now. Okay, that's a dead worm. I just wanted to make sure. Man, these glands are super rare to come by. I think that is that too. MK1 mechanical guard, okay. Oh damn. Okay, that was my fault. Seems to be another one coming in here. Let's try not to die. I don't think I can shoot this guy. Yeah, unfortunately, bullets won't go through. I might be able to... No. No such luck. What are the chances? Yeah, these bullets will go through, but... Doesn't deal as much damage, unfortunately. I don't really wanna... Fall down down there. Okay, that's one of them down. It looks like it, it might not be able to shoot me through the railing. So the assault rifle here has managed to do the trick. Probably a good idea to keep a wider range of weapons on myself. Okay, let's climb down. Okay, we're gonna do this thing first. And let's check if there is nothing else for which we can come back for. Damn it, there is one little box. I wanna grab that box. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to be probably standing up there in order to do so, but let, let's just go ahead and do this thing uh, Cyclo droplet pumps And that's 5,200 and 50 experience Okay, uh, look at that even more stuff to grab Let's go see if I can get my hands on that little box, which was over here. Whoa, that, that was weird. I'm trying to jump over the damn railing. Armor parts, I'll take it. And let's leave this place and 
collect potential reward i don't know main menu uh archived logs and transmissions archived confirmation okay you can pause the screen and read through this same for this and let's head back and collect the reward Maybe you are gonna let me take a look at some of the gear which you have all over this place. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Nice! Oh... Uh, yeah. Sure. Hey, you the one who fixed those radiators? Yeah. Nice work. You really saved our buns. Sure. Whenever you're free, let's have a chat. Uh, I'm free you now. Are to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Uh, why would we run out of time? You headed somewhere? Um, is that what you do for a groundbreaker? Relay messages? Well, yeah. The comm center routes all messages within, to, and from the groundbreaker. We also switchboard most of the message traffic throughout the Halcyon system. Of course, we're about to go dead, so I may be reappropriated to architect knows where doing law knows what soon enough. Why are you about to lose comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I could check out the relay. Uh, no need for official sign off in that case. What's in it for me if I investigate your relay problem? You save my comm center from chaos. I guarantee I'll get the chief to authorize some payment forms with your name on them while you're out fixing the station. Okay. Let's go. I could check out the relay. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Uh... You just let messages from Earth sit in the memory on an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Uh, okay, sure, I'm off. Unfortunately, as our ship is still grounded at the groundbreaker, I don't think we can do anything else right now. So... Talk to Udom Bedford. Uh... Silent voices. Can this be accessed? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, the 200 something meters. Uh, that's just telling me that it should be. Where? Outside of the ZM place? Is it on a different level? Yeah, that's the docking bay, so. Oh, uh, let, let's try to see if we can. Uh, 
uh, do something regarding the Udon Bedford guy or girl or whatever and oh, Okay, so we can just access the kitchen here, but I don't really want to If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Uh, 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 no. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. There needs to be something else I can freaking do. Yeah, so where the hell are the Halcyon holdings on the ship? Let's take a look at what's upstairs. Okay, so someone's personal quarters. Uh, just a few things which can be picked up, theoretically. Oh. I'm gonna take the bypass shunt if I don't need to steal them necessarily. And the problem here is that if I try to probably break in here... Uh, I'm not really sure what the freighter crew will think about this. So I'm obviously mostly doing this for experience. You know what? Let, let's close the door so I can just uh, take these things with me i'm sure i'm gonna be able to find a better use for them uh let's sleep for eight hours rest up and let's see if we can find those uh, holding guys to help us with our impounded ship also i might try to sell some of the stuff which i'm currently holding uh what can i sell Yes, I wanted to sell one of these at least. And I do have two of the plasma rifles. I don't understand how this is only 44 bits. So I'm going to probably hold on to that. Maybe, maybe take it apart. Uh, might get something more valuable out of that. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to gather all any of this uh, carrying capacity. Yeah, well, I picked up the um, back mule or what you want to call it. So no, thank you. Okay, let's go to the Halcyon holdings and see if we can uh, deal with our ship's situation. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. Be scared of your property. I'm just going to hang in the back and... Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Yeah, I don't care about oh, your yes. story. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Alex is dead. Forget Alex why you impounded my ship. I'm going to ring you scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. <laughs> Give me back my ship. Alex isn't important. I'm here to turn in Fanny as well as damn. Okay, Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Sorry for your loss. Forget Alex. Uh, why do you impound my I ship? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a, a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells. He tells me he will soon. I impound his ship. He explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. Uh, throwing anyway about my ship. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, 
I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Why is the board so interested in Wells anyway? Why do you think I know anything about Wells? I know where to find him. Alex never mentioned Phineas Wells. Uh, why is the board so interested in Wells? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Uh, why do you think I know a bit anything about Wells? Well, Alex knew, or he said he did. And you have his ship. Maybe he <clears> kept some records around, or a conveniently placed note on his bedside table. Uh, yeah, Alex never mentioned that's, this guy. Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Oh, uh, what's this about the board having your head? I know where to find him. I wanted to ask you something else. Be my guest. Uh, what do you do here exactly? Can you get me to Stellar Bay? Uh, has it gotten less significantly hot in here lately? <laughs> what are those locked doors in the back? A luxury stateroom reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Okay, uh, does the chairman visit here often? So you get to play butler to big guy. Fun. Uh, what do you do here exactly? I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. Uh, big vision, a small PlayStation. Nice setup. Uh... I have few complaints. Uh, can you get me to Stellar Bay? Has it gotten less significantly hot you in here? You refer to the radiator issue. Oh, goodness, it was dreadful. I was sweating constantly. Chief Tennyson certainly did take her time resolving it. I fixed it, actually. Wasn't the whole overheating problem your fault to begin with? Gracious, no. I can't imagine what gave you that idea. I only facilitated communication between the board and Chief Tennyson. It's not my fault she was stubborn. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. She did everything she could. It was your people's fault, not June Lay's. <laughs> my, aren't you... Hmm... Excitable. Hey, yeah, don't talk to her that way. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I don't owe a grease-stained wrench jockey like her the time of day. Let alone my deference. Ah, uh, yeah, persuade 20. Take it back. I'm sorry my temper got away from me. Please accept my sincerest apologies to you and your friend. Yeah. Does it work for you, Parvati? Oh, I'm not used to folks saying sorry. Um, it's... It's not all right exactly, but I appreciate the apology, I guess. Yeah, it was full of sarcasm. Well, now that that's dealt with, was there anything else you wanted to discuss? Yeah, I want to see if you can give me some jobs. Uh, can you get me to Stellar Bay? Oh, good law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? So, no? Wah. No. Emphatically no, unequivocally no, immutably no. Okay, no, uh, no would have done it. You didn't have to crack open a Thesaurus. Uh, okay. Let's Best go with that. Clear, I believe. And back to my other questions. We're leaving. So yeah, we managed to do a bunch of jobs here. Uh, we're gonna be able to now travel from the Groundbreaker to other planets, hopefully. 
Uh, I'm not really sure if I will need to manage fuel for the ship or something weird like that. Fingers crossed I won't have to. But yeah, I will think I'll cut off the episode here. And on the next one, we will start to travel around. It was really fun to play this game again because between the previous episode and this one, there was like a bunch of days in between me recording just because I did not unfortunately have enough time in between. So hopefully you did find this entertaining. If you have any tips, advice or tricks for me in the comment section, please feel free to disclose that. Please no freaking spoilers because I'm still new to the game so I don't know the full story yet and therefore I'm still really enjoying the game. Now when it comes to my channel I publish content on a weekly base. I do playthroughs, discussions, early in game reviews, tips and tricks videos, things like that so uh, go check that out. Uh, obviously uh, I cannot guarantee when this episode will be uploaded. I will try to keep the content flowing for now, but in the meantime, I am going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully I will see you at the next one. Thank you for watching, everyone. Stay safe out there, enjoy yourself, and goodbye. Hey, take your time.